Yes. I wanted to ask uh, something regarding the akhlaq category. And the question is, what are the practical ways and stages of reacting when riba is uttered in front of us without damaging relations with the one speaking or hurting his or her honor? This is a very good question and something that we frequently experience. The first thing is that we have to be alert. Because unfortunately many times either we start our Sarqiba or if someone else starts we are not alert and we give good you know, hearing and by hearing we actually encourage that person to carry on. So we have to be alert as soon as we are reaching the boundaries of Qaybah even when we get close to Qaybah we have to be alert and we have to start getting rid of Qaybah not that we are in the middle of Qaybah we wake up so when we see the discussion is going towards Qaybah <coughs> we should try to change the subject we cannot say to the person don't do Reba maybe he didn't want to do Reba maybe maybe he has an excuse which is very rare but maybe but I have no excuse to listen so we don't want to offend that person say you have you have committed a sin but we have no right to listen. So, to be alert, to try to divert the discussion to something else, if unfortunately got into it, we should be more severe, we should change the subject, we should defend that person, we should ask the person to stop, and if it is not possible, we should leave with respect we can say maybe you have a right you know to discuss this but I'm sorry I have no right to listen and with all respect you know if you want to continue please let me leave uh, no offense no anger but strength in your position May Allah help us. It's a very, very difficult thing. And especially may Allah help us with starting ourselves labor. Shaykhna, just as a follow-up to this question, yes. it might be, for me, it seems a bit helpful to know what is the exact definition of labor. And my understanding right now is that it's uh, seeing something negative in someone's absence. What are the places, I know that people sometimes don't like to ask this question because they say you're already looking at the exceptions of when you can actually utter something. When is it possible to mention a problem that you have with a person that is absent? And what are the boundaries of that? Because you talked about approaching the boundaries of labor. Yeah. So what are what are these boundaries and when is it that someone, how can someone deal with a situation where they're experiencing a problem with another person and they need to talk to uh, someone about it, perhaps to solve that problem, you know, they need help to address that issue. So when is it ghaiba, when is it not ghaiba? Maybe in some general line, so we know what are the boundaries of ghaiba. Yeah. This is a technical uh, question, and actually this is one of the things that uh, we should ask our marja. But generally speaking, ghayba is dhikruka akhaq bima yasu'uhu. To say something about your brother or sister, that he or she would not want to be said so something which is true Billah, it's not false because then it becomes tuhma 
which is worse. Something which is true, but the person about whom we want to say this is not pleased. He doesn't want people know about this this from him because he is a person who is not doing these things publicly. Because if someone is mutajahir bel fisk, then Reba would not actually become applicable. You know, if someone is, for example, drinking alcohol in public gatherings on the street, then to say that he drinks alcohol is not Reba because he doesn't bother and he does this everywhere. But for example, if someone does this alone or in a private gathering, he doesn't want people to know this. He doesn't want family, for example, or community to know about this. Then we disclose it. So in Reba, you are disclosing something. You are publicizing a secret of someone. That he doesn't want to be known. This is Reba. Exceptions are again discussed in Fiqh, but like any Fiqh discussion, there can be different views, although the general titles are there. For example, if someone asks you for mashwara, for example, someone wants to marry a boy or a girl and you know something about that person. Here, you might need to share some of your knowledge. But you don't say share everything and if it is possible you don't go to details maybe you can just say i don't see this working but if it is really needed and the only way to save someone's life is to say a little bit maybe then you have right to say of course i don't want to take responsibility <laughs> you check with your marja uh, just i am saying what is in fiqh. I am not a marja, I am not a mujtahid, and uh, certainly I am not a person who is uh, giving you any fatwa. But maybe in that case you can share a little bit. Nushul mustashir. Or for example, if someone has been treated with injustice, for example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah doesn't want people to speak about bad things in very explicit way, except those who have become madhloom. Then ulama say, madhloom, the one who has been oppressed, can talk about this. But here some ulama say Mazlum can talk about this to the people who can help him to take his right back. For example, he goes to the court. He goes to a person that can pressurize, put pressure on the other person to give his right back. Not that uh, I say this to everyone everywhere even here there are some conditions or someone who claims a nasab which is not true for example someone is not sayyid he says I am a sayyid again here we need to make maybe a statement 
of course not by damage maybe his personality but maybe we can say this is not proof to us this is problematic something like this the general criterion is there must be a real and great maslaha a danger who which is greater than the harm of ghaybah so as a kind of tazahum ghaybah is very bad but if there is something more important than this in danger and the only way to save that is to do ghaybah then ghaybah might be permitted so it's very very difficult thing and it's better to be cautious unless something really more damaging is going to happen and the only way is to mention this negative point thank you very much Shihna, for helping this uh, us in this very practical question and uh, right. i know that it's uh, hard to give these answers <laughs> it's not something that we like to necessarily give but it's been very helpful no. thank you so much so inshallah we could move to uh, the greeting part we have hundred lots of people that are in anticipation to uh, say their salam so we have brother Abdul Karim from Arab brother Abdul Karim are you with us Assalamu 